My name is Miss Shannon from the Walworth Seeley Public Library, and I am here today to do a science experiment called Magic Milk. Let's get started. The materials that you are going to need for our Magic Milk experiment, we need a dish. I have like a soup dish. You can use a bowl, a plate, or a pan. We also need milk. I'm using 2% milk today. Another suggestion is you can use whole milk if you have it. Um, but we'll want something with a higher fat content that will be important later. We need dish soap, food coloring, a little dish to put a drop of dish soap in, and a Q-tip. So the first step is we are going to pour the milk into our dish. and I'm going to grab my food coloring. I'm going to put a few drops of each color in. Okay, next we're going to take our dish soap and put just a little bit into our dish. So you don't need a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take my Q-tip and I'm going to put it in our dish soap. You just need a little bit, you don't need too awful much. So I have my Q-tip coated in the dish soap. And now I'm going to touch my Q-tip to the surface of my milk. And I'm just gonna hold it there and we're gonna see what happens, okay? Wow, you can see that burst of color. How our colors are just moving about. want to try grabbing a little bit more soap and see if you can get things to move around a little bit more. You can see that just moved out. While we watch our colors swirl and mix, let's talk about the science behind our magic milk experiment. So there's two things happening. The first one is surface tension. Surface tension holds the surface together. It's caused by the attraction between the molecules of a liquid. An example of this, if you have a glass and you fill it up with water and you fill it up all the way to the top and even just a little bit past the top, you'll notice it forms a dome and it doesn't immediately spill over the edge. So this dome, that you see, that's surface tension. Back to our milk and food coloring in our bowl. Once we add the soap to our milk, it lowers the surface tension. And this allows the, the milk and the food coloring to spread over our bowl. The second thing that's happening has to do with our milk and our soap. So milk is mostly made up of water, but it also has minerals and proteins and fat. Our soap likes to grab onto the fat molecules in our milk. That is the movement that we are seeing from the food coloring in our experiment. The soap molecules are twisting and turning and chasing after the fat molecules in the milk. And we see this beautiful burst as our colors swirl and mix together. This activity was great fun. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon. Bye.